Hey everybody, it's Aichan. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to do an unboxing of a an online Chanel order that I did and I ordered their eyelid gloss. As a bit of a bonus, stay tuned until the end of this video for a dupe that I found for this product and also like and comment if you enjoyed the beginning music and let me know if you know what symphony it's from. I'm gonna open this guy here. This is how the package comes uh, via FedEx. And I ordered a single item here and this is how it comes still. Like this, with its own custom packaging. And then a huge box for one little bitty eye gloss. And this is, I won't show you what's in it, but it does have a little car that says all the best from Chanel. You could probably personalize that if you want. You open it up, gorgeously packaged. The logo here on top. Alrighty, get this guy open and oh my gosh, huge nest of stuff. Ah, here's the thing I ordered right down here. So funny. This again is the bag that you get with your two free samples. I ordered some more perfume, I think, and some hand cream. It's great to order samples like this and I feel like you can never do without perfume samples. I probably have, um, I don't know, like five or six of these by now, and I don't know why I need to buy the full size unless I really want the bottle, because <laughs> I have so many sprays. Here you go, here's the samples. There's that. And so here is the Ombre Premier Gloss. So this is a top coat eyeshadow. I got the color in Solaire, because I think it matches my kind of neutral to warm undertones. Very nice and chic. Opening the package. Tightly close after use. Now I read online that that is really important. If you don't tightly close it, it actually dries out. Here's the box on the inside, a little brush for application. Here is the Chanel brush. Very stiff though. Let's open the product. Apparently this is a limited edition. So it's an eyeshadow top coat. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Very glittery very reflective and let's just take my clean finger whoa it's very kind of wet and jelly like it feels like touching a moisturizer or a lip balm and let's swatch here oh yeah this is gonna be like putting on a balm so this is exactly what it says it is this is a gloss I'm gonna move you to an area that has a little more sunlight so you can see See that kind of glossy look? And then I'll do it here on my palm. There you go. It feels like putting a lip balm on my skin with a bit of a glow to it. And then just the tiniest flecks of glitter in there. Okay, so this is the part you all have been waiting for. We're gonna play around with this very strange product. First of all, here's a super duper close up of both the pot as well as my eyeball. And you can see it just kind of gives this very juicy, glowy, uh, glossy, obviously it's from the name, look to the eyelids. There is some degree of buildup that you can have here. You can apply an additional layer uh, to kind of amp up the effect. So then I decided to play around even more with the product. I put on a layer and then I put a Natasha Denona shadow on top of it. It looked so beautiful, but then it creased like crazy. I mean, this was taken an hour after I did it. And you can fix it, but fixing it requires touching your eyelids all day. So then I went ahead and put down a base of eyeshadow and then put the gloss on top of that. And I thought this looked pretty. Uh, you can tell the difference on the left versus the right there. I put this on my bare lips. I put it on top of a red lip and I really liked the red lip look. I thought that was nice. And now let's talk about the little trick that I found, the little dupe. So when I was touching the product, I realized, hey, you know, this feels very emollient, very greasy, a lot like Vaseline. So this is a uh, Vaseline versus a Chanel eye gloss. Uh, the top is Chanel, the bottom is Vaseline. And I played around with my eyeshadows from this particular palette. This is the chocolate gold palette from Too Faced until I got the right tone. And it worked so well that in these photos here, I actually do not remember which side was the gloss and which side was the Vaseline. <laughs> I kid you not. And looking at them now, I'm not so sure that I can tell the difference. So 
I consider that a dupe. If I was the one that put that on my eyes, and I honestly cannot remember because I'm ridiculous and I, I should have made note of which side was which, but I can't remember now. So I think that that is, um, I think that's a win. I think that's a dupe. So then in summary, do you need this product? Well, no, you don't. <laughs> so then question number two, is this product worth it? I think a designation of worth is going to very much be individual and it's going to depend upon what you as the consumer want. Are you willing to pay $35 and you want the box and you want the tissue paper and the wrapping and the packaging and the logo on top? Is that an important experience for you, an important place to put your money? Seems like then it's worth it. Uh, <laughs> but if you're looking for something that truly gives you bang for your buck and that there's no other way you can replicate the experience with any other product, then in with that definition of worth, this product is not worth it. So that is a determination for you to make and not for me to put on you. So with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.